How's it going everyone? My name is Steele Johnson. Welcome back to my photography channel and today we are going to be checking out the Pepsi 35mm film camera. So for those of you who have been watching this channel for more than a few months, that's probably only about like 40 or 50 of you at this point, you'll know I've already done a full review on this Pepsi 35mm film camera. I got it off Facebook Marketplace for super cheap back in like March or April, put a roll of film through it and you know, the quality is not amazing. It's kind of like a disposable camera that you can reload um, in a fun form factor, like a vintage Pepsi can. But if you wanna watch the full review of that, you can click the card on the screen now to check out my complete thoughts on this camera. This video is a little different. It's a different perspective. So I'm gonna be honest, I took this idea straight from Grainy Days. Uh, he did this exact same thing with the uh, Budweiser camera back a long time ago, maybe like one or two years ago. I saw that he did that video. It gave me the idea to take this Pepsi camera, the exact same camera, just a different wrap. His is Budweiser, mine's Pepsi, and go to my brother's bachelor party in New Orleans and only use this camera to take photos. And that's exactly what I did. And here's how it turned out. everyone I just finished using the one roll of film I put in this Pepsi camera so the plan for this video was to shoot three rolls of film through this at my brother's bachelor party ended up not even getting through one whole roll um, so you know maybe 20 to 30 of the shots were from the bachelor party and I just kind of spent the rest of the day driving around Nashville uh, trying to find a little bit of photo spots to see if I could just finish this roll because I'm turning this roll of film in in about 20 minutes to a local shop to see how they do with their uh, film processing uh, and their scanning. Typically I use a lab out in San Francisco, but I just, I, you know, I'm in a new city. I wanna try something local, see how it compares. Um, so I'll be able to compare these shots to the shots I got last time, see which lab did a better job of color rendering. They're the same exact roll of film. Uh, I think it's just Fuji something. <laughs> but anyway, the roll of film's done, time to Pop the tab and uh, wind it back. All right, I think it's done. Moment of truth, pop the tab, open it up. It's so hard to do. I just cut my fingernails too, so. Wrong tab. Oh, I was supposed to push that tab to rewind the film. I might have just jacked up the whole roll. That's gonna suck. I think I just destroyed the whole roll. At least the first shots are now gonna be exposed. Uh, so those first shots are now not gonna show up in this video. There we go. So. Let's hope I didn't just screw up this whole thing. It's Fuji Superior 400. I forgot I had to press the button, so when I rolled it back, I might have damaged the film rolling it back. But I think that's the release button to release the last bit. So I think we'll be fine. Just the first couple shots are probably gonna be gone now. So let's pray that the $10 I spent to develop this, something will actually come out of it. I thought I was gonna completely lose, you know, a few shots because of this error. Um, but here are those shots, and I think it's really just one shot that actually turned out, but the, the light leaks were pretty sick in my opinion. I'm gonna be honest, this Pepsi camera is not good, <laughs> but it does do well for what it is in certain situations. Clearly, as you can see in this photo, it is horrible in the nighttime. For it to be a decent shot, you need to be close to your subject with the flash on for that flash to fully illuminate the subject. In this shot right here, 
I was maybe like six or seven feet away from this guy. You couldn't tell that from this photo because it is just dark. In stark contrast, a photo like this one where I'm maybe one to two feet away from all the subjects, the flash lights them up really well and I think this shot actually turned out really, really well. I'm really happy with it. Overall, it's not a good camera. This Pepsi camera, do not buy this if you want to get good shots. I bought it because it was super cheap on Facebook Marketplace. I had seen reviews of the Budweiser camera and just wanted to have one for myself. And it's been really fun. I've taken photos from that bachelor party from the shots I got a few months ago in the previous video on this camera that they're not amazing, but they're memorable to me. And I'm happy to have that physical photo, something I can look back on and know it was taken on a fun camera like this. That's what's so cool about this. It's just so niche. It's, it's not a camera to be good and to be artsy, but it's more just to have a fun time snapping pictures. And it captured a lot of fun memories while I was in New Orleans. All in all, a unique experience shooting with this camera. It's not easy to shoot with, but it's fun. It's something you really don't think about. It's so satisfying to flip it up, take your shot, wind your film, and snap it back down when you're done. It's so satisfying. But the images aren't amazing, disposable camera quality, but that's good enough for me and what I'm doing. I'm not a professional photographer, I'm just a hobbyist. So being able to have this hobby and try fun cameras like this is really, really satisfying to me. That being said, I don't really have any other scenarios I wanna be using this camera for. This'll probably just be an art piece now on my shelf. Going forward, I'm going to put rolls of film through cameras that do a better job capturing images, making moments actually look decent. I have a trip coming up to South Carolina in a few days. I'm planning on bringing a film camera and a couple rolls of film to that. And I've got a trip to Oahu coming up as well. And for that, I'm hoping to find a new film camera that I haven't tried yet, haven't tested yet, and put some rolls of film through that while I'm in Hawaii. The prices of film are going up, the price to develop is going up, and so I'm trying to do as much of it as I can now before it gets too expensive and I can't afford it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, hit the subscribe button. I'm about two subscribers away from 100 subs at this point, so I, I'd appreciate all the support. If you wanna see me do more film photography, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see me do more digital photography, whether it's DSLR, mirrorless, iPhone stuff, also leave that in the comments below. And I'm off to South Carolina. I'll see you guys in the next video.